You may have thought it was an April Fool's, but nope, Alice Chalmers is in the game for all platforms. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ, welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we have 63 mods to take a look at. I wish I was kidding. Yeah, 63. For all platforms, we have 44 new and we've got eight updates. And for PC and Mac players, we have six new and five updates. If you want to stay up to date with all of the new and updated mods that are releasing on the mod up, make sure you're subscribed uh, because this video is going to take a long, long time. Uh, please drop a like. <laughs> Let's jump right in. And let's start with a brand new map for all platforms. This is North Beach. This is a German map in the Nordic style from the Lort, L-O-R-T. It's a real map with fictional locations. They've got 37 fields, 40 buying spaces. You've also got BGA, six production, sawmill, gas station, shop, livestock dealer, four vending stations, a yard with two edible stores, and frames that can be paint built by menus. Yeah. Ooh, oh man, that's a good one. Uh, it's not that big, to be fair. Uh, so it's a very small yesh map. We start over here. You can see prices are pretty 60. Nice. Uh, so prices are pretty standard. It looks like maybe the most expensive piece, maybe like right here, 320. We can buy the outside of the map for 20 million though. So that's that's important. Uh, <laughs> There you go. If you guys are on consoles, this is going to take up 802 slots in new farmer mode. So be aware of that. Speaking of new farmer mode, what do we get? Well, you've got a nice fent, favorite 511. You got the Valtra, got a Massey Ferguson, top liner. Uh, can you tell that this is the exact same starting equipment as the European map? Yeah, exact same. It doesn't seem like anything's changed. Nonetheless, there you go. That is North Beach. Next up, we've got the first Alice Chalmers to ever come to all platforms, the 8550 from Julian F. Modding. This has 302 horsepower. It's got an AC Power Direct partial power shift transmission. The 643 liters fuel, 19 miles per hour. It weighs 13.6 tons. It's going to take up nine slots, so very slot affordable here. Will Brands, Michelin, Midas, back and forth between those, and you got a bunch of different duels and single to choose from you can throw a terminal on there if you want to and you've got some different exhaust options as well next up you got the jcb tm 320s this has 158 horsepower 148 liters of fuel 24 mile per hour max speed at 844 tons it's going to be six slots for you guys it is a telehandler so it uses all of your standard telehandler attachments trelleborg michelin continental midas bkt Friedstein, and nokian tires one of those bkt's Man, they just always look good on everything. Next is the MAN TGX Crusher. This bad boy right here, 500 horsepower, 490 liters of fuel, 49 miles per hour max speed at 16.7 tons, and it is going to be 21 slots. There's a lot of moving parts on this. This is basically the Heinz uh, self-propelled um, mulcher, <laughs> chipper, but it's on the back of a man truck. Continental Nuckian tires, so you can choose up between those, choose what you like. Uh, windscreens on the front, you put the guard there. These look very similar to ones we've seen before. Beacon lights, flashing lights, sun shield, spoiler, bull bar, wind reflector, roof bar, sun shield, engine setup when you go up to 880 horsepower. Cabin color, yep, you can change that up. Crane color, you can change that up to these colors right here. Craw color, or claw, we'll just go green, fun of it. And then crusher color, and then rim color. Uh, that's five colors right there, and that's for all platforms. That's pretty sweet. You guys have been asking for a modded version of the John Deere 7R, and you've got one from 2020. This is the well, John Deere 7R. We've also got a front loader with this as well. This front loader, you can change up your decals, which is kind of cool, and you can change up that main color. You can make this black. It's going to be four slots for you guys. As far as the star of the show, the tractor itself, 290 liters of fuel. Variable transmission, 513 liters of fuel. Let's say 290 liters, 290 horsepower, 31 miles an hour, max speed, 11.5, and is 22 slots. Will Brands, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Minus, BKT, Ridestein, and Nucky and Tires. Most of you guys are going to be running Michelin, so let's throw some Michelins on there. Design EU and US, so you've got those split up if you want them to be. Designs, or decals rather, you got yellow ones, green, 
back and forth between those. And why would you want them green? Well, we'll put them on green because I'll show you. Uh, display GPS, no and yes. Attachers, three point. You've also got for the front loader on there as well. You cannot have a front three point and a front loader. Heads up. Engine options are going to give us 290, 305, 335, 352, 373, and 388 horsepower. And then we can change up that main color. That is why you want to go with that. Now, Oh, even get the rim color. Look out, my man. Yeah. Next up, we've got the second Massey Ferguson 8700S that's on the mod hub. This bad boy right here is from LS Agro Ollie. 300 horsepower. We got 630 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour, and 13.8 tons. As far as slot counts, these are going to be 16 slots for you guys if you are on consoles. Wheel brands, we have Trailborg, Michelin tires. We also have Continental and Midas, and BKT, and Vridestat, which is great. Engine options, various 300, 325, 350, 400, and 405 horsepower. Main color, you can change it any of these colors that you would like. Design color, this is going to be the colors in your grill. And then rim color, of course, is rim color. Next up, we got a nice little pack for you. This is the Massey Ferguson 6 XXX and 7 XXX series. Yeah, so we've got a uh, 67, 77, 10, a 77, 20. I feel like we could have just uh, 67 and 77 series. Whatever. Uh, regardless. Here you go. Let's start off here at 67. There's 150 horsepower, variable transmission, 280 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour, 6.4 tons. It's going to be 19 slots for you guys. As far as designs go, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental Midas, BKT, Vridestein, and Nokian tires. You got some pretty cool stuff in here as well. These are kind of US-ified if you want to go with uh, with that type of thing. How we do it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, you can change this up to US and EU versions. Thank you for adding that option. Fenders, yes or no. Beacons, no, yes. Triangle, so you got your tractor triangle. Definitely want to add that. This is a American Massey kind of right here. Love that. You've even got different attachers as well, which change on the back. Front loader, you got the quickie, you got the Hauer or nothing. Engine setup, 150, 160, 175, 180, 200 horsepower. Main color. Change up that main color, design color. It's going to be the top. We've got a second design color, which will be the grill. And the rim color is rim color as it were. Now we've got two other options right here as well. Customization is the same. For the 7710, this is going to be 19 slots. The 7720, it's going to be 20 slots. Not even your last Massey Ferguson mod today. We've got the Massey 6700 S. This bad boy right here. 150 horsepower. We've got a variable transmission. We've also got 280 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour at 6.4 tons. We have 19 slots on here. We've got, uh, let's see, Trailboard, Michelin, Continental, Minus, BKT, Ridestein, and Nucky and Tires. Please don't tell me we have the same tires as the other one. We do not. This is also from Ellis Acura Ollie. Uh, we've got a couple different designs on here. You could change up what's around your exhaust. You've got different terminal setups, warning signs, uh, basically yes or no on that. Front loader, we've got Hauer and the Quickie engines, 150, 160, 175, 185, 200. Main color, it's the same color you get from Massey's all the time. Same uh, grill color and ooh. Black with the red tires look pretty darn good. Next up, the second Massey 5600 that we've got on the Mod Hub now. This is going to have 105 horsepower. We have a variable transmission, 160 liters of fuel, 24 mile per hour, 5.3 tons. It is going to be 11 slots. As far as engines go, you've got 105, 130 horsepower back and forth between those wheels. Trollborg, Michelin, Continental, Minus, Friedstein, and uh, Nucky and Tires. You could change those up as well. They do have those really cool wheel weights on there. Front loaders, you've got the quickie the hour or nothing and then your main color just starts at uh, black and you could choose massey if you want or you could choose any color that's out there it's pretty cool no rim colors though it's kind of surprising your last vehicle new mod for all platforms today is going to be the herleman h488 ladies and gentlemen this is toothpaste tractor but there's no toothpaste tractor colors no we're gonna we're gonna have to mod those in. Either way, this has 90 horsepower, manual plus power shift transmission, 100 liters of fuel, 26 mile per hour max speed at 3.6 tons. It's gonna be 12 slots if you are playing on console. As far as Will Brands with Trailborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Friedstein, and Nucky and Tires, and you've got some different options for those, of course. Three point on the front, yes or no. Front loader, we get the quickie and the hour or nothing. Main color, hope you like yellow because you've got that as an option. That's gold, as a matter of fact, of what that is, but you could change it up to whatever, with the exception of one color that's the most important, 
toothpaste tractor. You don't have that. You've also got the color for your interior color, and you can even change that roof color or something if you really want to. And of course, you got rim colors as well. You can make this thing look pretty wacky, but you're not putting it on a toothpaste. Next up, we've got the Unia Plow 6. This is not a plow at all, actually. It's a subsoiler, <laughs> so heads up there. 1.1 tons, 150 horsepower required, three meters at seven miles an hour. It's going to be three slots on consoles. Design, you can throw some warning signs if you want to, and that is it. Next up, we've got a pair of tankers. Now, these can be used as either uh, like a liquid transport tanker. So you can see this one does milk, water, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide. And we've also got one right here, which does slurry as well. It's even a slurry spreader, which is pretty cool. These are going to be three slots. So heads up there. You don't need any extra they are going to hold 3,200 liters each, which is nice to see. 1.9 tons, and you can pull them with a truck. Uh, fenders, yes or no. We've got wheel setups, standards and wides. Main color, got some nice older colors here. I do like that color palette. I think they've chosen a really nice one for this mod. Uh, you've even got kind of like some darker gray. Love that dark gray. As far as your slurry and digestate spreader, this is going to spread a five meter spread at nine miles per hour. Next, we've got a bell fork for your front loader. This is going to be the Lizard Bell Fork, and if I remember correctly, we've got a PC-only version of this coming up later in the video. Uh, this says design of two bells, three bells, or four bells. This is going to be vertically stacked, and again, this is for use with front loaders. If you guys are looking for slot counts, well, you found them right here, two slots. Next, we have the Lizard 3-Point Logging Blade. This is used mainly for forestry and pushing things around. This goes on a 3-point hitch only, weighs 180 kilograms, and it's got a 1.7 meter spread on here. It's going to cost you two slots. Main color, well, you've got all of the fun colors. And design color, well, even more fun colors. So you'd really be able to have some fun with this. If you guys are trying to push logs from point A to point B along the ground, this is what you want to use. Here's a fun one that only takes up two slots, the signal bar. So we've got a couple different designs here. These are going to go via your three points. So you've got nothing. You've got the convoy agricole, the agricultural convoy. you got an oversized load, wide load. You've even got a three-point extra on there as well. Main color, which changes up to nice yellow, so you can see what changes there and then design let's go with a pink and that looks like it's going to be the back side so heads up there if that wasn't enough we've actually got uh, another uh <laughs> it's basically the same thing uh with some different setups of course we got the convoy agriculture there and here as well this is just thrown on a pallet this would be great if you got an older tractor and you just want to throw it on there well i think that would be cool you've also got a new pallet design as well uh with or without the fire extinguisher so that's kind of cool and then of course you've got your colors that's just going to be for the hookup only as far as this version right here goes you can only change the color of the metal and that is it these are going to be two slots and one slot respectively next up we've got the flegal long neck combo plus yes sir so this hooks up via three point hitch you can change up the color of the claw but that's the only thing that you could change Wow, these are all terrible colors. There we go. Dark green. That's a good flegal color. What you do with this is hook it up to a three-point, whether it's on the front or back of your tractor. You can extend it, and you can grab a hold of stuff. And it's also got a pusher there as well, so you can lift up the crane itself and then push things out of the way. This is extremely beneficial for you guys if you are running uh, well, any type of logging business. You can also hook this up to a front loader as well. You might be able to see the hooks right in there as well. Next is the K-Brand Discolander XM2. This bad boy right here is going to be a cedar. Well, it says disc hero, but you can fertilize with it. Seed with it. No, you can seed with it. You can do grass, you could do uh, cover crop, and you can do canola as well. So that's pretty cool. This bad boy right here, 600 liters of seed, 8.4 tons, 20, 220 horsepower required, 6 meters spread at 11 miles per hour. As far as slot counts, it's going to be a little bit up there and probably going to uh, shove this down the hill for a lot of people. 15 slots. And some modded Staras. Yeah, man. So we've got the Reboot Ninja 3300 and we've got the 19. So as far as the 33, that's going to be five slots and the 19 is going to be five slots as well. Now, uh, we already have these in a very similar pack, I believe, from a different modder. However, these start with different things and we can customize these, which is kind of cool. So of course, we have all of our wheel options we would expect to see, but we could change up that main color 
You can change up your design color, which is on the top, and you can change that rim color. So you can kind of debrand these from orange and green and just kind of black and chrome them out, which I think is really cool. Next is the Fantigo XR75D. This is going to be a forage wagon for you guys with the pickup on the bottom, 42,000 liter capacity. We've got a 10.7 ton the sitting weight, 200 horsepower required. 12 miles per hour. This is also going to be six slots, so it is no slouch by itself. Will Brands, we do have Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Bridestein tires. You cannot change those up. It looks like actually the uh, Michelin you can. That's cool. Solid additive, naturally, you can do that. Looks like that's going to be on the front uh, right hand corner. Main color, this is where it gets fun because you can change up that main color. Main color two, which is the interior. Three, which is the very. <laughs> that's all that. And the rim color. So you can really have a little bit of fun with this or just black it all out and have some fun. If you're looking for a nice manure spreader, well, this might be exactly what you've been looking for. The Stroutman PS2201 is bad boy right here as 26,600 liter capacity for manure only. No lime on this. 10.7 tons, 180 horsepower required, 24 meter spread at nine miles per hour. That is pretty darn good, especially for the price of 76 grand. This right here is going to be four slots on consoles and we could change up between trailer board Michelin BKT Bridestein tires. If you enjoyed using the Transpace 8000 as much as I did in previous games, you've been missing it. And, well, miss no more. It's here. Uh, There's 31,000 liter capacity, 8.6 tons, twin radials. This will be four slots on consoles. It does hold everything. Trailer Bork, Michelin BKT Bridestein tires. You can even change those rim colors up, which is pretty cool. Next up, we got a fun one to say. This is the Agriliner Mook 402, 55,000 liter capacity, 11.2 two tons gonna be eight slots eight slots on consoles pretty big trailer for eight slots this is gonna hold quite literally every solid that you can imagine we've got trelleborg michelin bkt Bridestein tires on there cover yes or no chassis color you can change that up if you want to we'll just go with a uh, black why not yeah let's go with black and then design color will go black here as well this could be the main color take that cover off boom now it's blacked out love it here's an interesting one this is the trailer cueco not cueco trailer one <laughs> 160-1, 22,500 liters, 4.9 tons. It's going to be five slots on consoles. I do love this trailer very much because I love these older Cueco trailers. Configuration, we have an extension. You can do a regular one as well for 12,600, so choose what you like through there. Will Brands of Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Bridestein Tires. Plenty of variation for whatever you're wanting to do. We also have different wheel setups for each one as well. That's nice. Extinguisher, you've got one on the left, one on the right, left and right, or standard toolbox left right both and you can even change that chassis color if you really just want orange all the way around may not be what you're expecting when you hear great planes but we've still got it this is the great planes 3p 106 nt if you guys are unfamiliar with this this is a smaller planter kidding cedar it's a cedar uh you can see right there <laughs> got all the good stuff uh this will also direct drill so that is incredibly nice for such a small piece this may just take the crown for the best starting cedar in the game uh, it's not that expensive either Twenty nine thousand holds 1200 liters of seed and fertilizer both 2.3 tons 100 horsepower required three meter spread at nine miles per hour it's going to be six slots next up we've got some modded downbow rollers for you guys these are from hispano modding and they remind me a lot of the uh, rollers that I modified because I've got my own modified version here, but they go 31 miles per hour, not well, 11. Uh, these go 11 and 13 respectively. Let's start with the power rolls. Bad boy right here, 7.7 tons, 140 horsepower required, 12.3 meter working width, 11 miles per hour. It is going to be five slides. Will Brands, Trelleborg, BKT, back and forth between those. You can change up your main color. Now we do have that Dalbo blue if you're really looking forward to it, but you can change it up as well. Let's go with the purple today with the rim color around green, looking fresh there. Then we have the larger version. This is a 22.2 tons, 330 horsepower required, 24.2 three meter working with 13 miles an hour and is going to be nine slots we have the exact same customization here as well with a few extra added wheel options so that is nice you can change this up as well next up we got a piece for your front loaders this is the Hauer sgs 2600 this will do every single crop that you've got plus what's nice about it, it's got a claw on the front so if you're doing uh any type of logs or maybe you got some bells or something you want to grab a hold to it'll make it a little bit easier for you it's going to hold 1500 liters it weighs 268 kilograms and it's going to be two slots and your last uh non 
replaceable mod for all platforms today is going to be the lizard fillable plastic box is called 1000 liters of quite literally anything you want to do and is weighs 100 kilograms by itself it's also going to be one slot on consoles if you get up close this is a very very good job at a dirty plastic box the modder has done an incredible job with this this could not have been easy. They've even got some like bend marks in there. That's so cool. This is going to be easily pick upable. Yeah, pick upable upable with like a front loader or pallet fork, stuff like that. That's going to be the easiest way to pick this up. Dutch Modding Inc. have released one of their more popular cow shed mods. This is going to be the cow shed 3x3. This is a freestyle barn for 200 head of cattle. And boy, oh boy, is this thing massive and gorgeous. They've done a fan fantastic job with this lots of cool stuff right there as you can see i had to fly over the middle because well there you go you've got that i don't know if that'll come down or not that'd be pretty cool to find out and see as a matter of fact I should probably do that now let's just go ahead and stop flying can we lower this we sure can <laughs> hey oh that is pretty cool let me out cowborn's gonna leave a hole in your ground just be ready for that the next one is the pallet storage and logistics so this is very very neat of course you can't open it up but let's take a look here uh you've got eggs in eggs in wool in wool in flour in flour in bread cake butter you get the idea all of them all of them yeah so this pallet storage and logistics warehouse enables you to store and distribute standard products pallets between your production buildings by using the standard production uh f function right here so tired of uh full greenhouse pallet spawn one to output all main products in one place will activate the option to distribute in your production line and everything will pop up in here this is going to cost you 50 grand holds 100 pallets of each thing so that's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 24 so that's 24,000 pallets 24 no 2,400 pallets there you go um they do say on the pallet storing there is a rounded error on the game sometimes where it loses one liter of the product so heads up there next up we've got the tuber storage now i want to call this the tuber storage because i'm a youtuber therefore i'm a tuber this is pretty sweet two storages one for potatoes and one for sugar beets they're going to hold the capacity of 500,000 liters price is going to be 10 grand for each of these so what you do is you dump it in here makes it look like it's in there and then you pull it out right here it's basically a silo it's just visually it's there this is really neat next is a shed for bells you could pretty much put whatever you want in here it's gonna cost you 50 grand and ten dollars per day there's really not a whole lot to it no animations nothing like that could be found in sheds this is a neat one this is the cow breeding pen used for cows and put them in uh here before you put them in the large pasture food and water capacity has been increased to accommodate the increase in animals uh and this holds 45 head of cattle here we have the machine hall this is gonna cost you 50 grand daily cost of 25 bucks per day let's gonna do a little bit of a boop drop down to the ground and it looks like we can open up a few of these which is nice do we only have to open one or am i gonna have to go over there and open the other one gonna have to go over here and open up the other one there we go well we've got a smaller area right here and we have a larger area right here one thing i will say doesn't look like we've got any lights on here however the brick that they've used looks really really good they did a good job if you were looking to place down an old polish house but you didn't want to live there well here is the one for you this is an old polish single family brick house built in 1978 as you could obviously tell and it's going to cost you eight grand so it's a very cheap house as well especially in today's housing market uh this bad boy right here is not usable in any way shape or form it does look like we've got some lights here so that's kind of neat yeah that's cool uh, otherwise you can't sleep there or anything like that it's visual only here we've got the farm silo package this contains three silos for seed or mineral feed of course they make up for a nice decoration too on your farm and i will say yes they do look very very good all three are colorful as well i'm just going for the white versions right here on the left hand side we have silo number three yep we're going to start with number three this will do seeds and mineral feed 54,300 liter capacity uh price is gonna be 25 grand in the middle we've got silo number two capacity is 27.3 and on the right we've got uh seeds fertilizer and mineral feed that is going to be 27.3 as well from the fssa modding team we got their old fuel station capacity of 20,000 liters you can refill it on your own or you could buy it and it's well suited for small to medium-sized farms and i would 
would say so because 20,000 is a lot of fuel in farm sim. This is only going to cost you $2,000 while it sits by yourself. Next up, we've got the extended meridian silos. Now, these are going to be able to hold a couple different things, things that are easy for you guys. Fertilizer, lime, liquid fertilizer, herbicide. Over here on the left-hand side, we've got the fertilizer and lime version. That's going to hold 60,000 liters. And on the right, we've got the liquid fertilizer and herbicide. It's going to hold 173,500 liters. Next is a neat one. This is the honey production. So this bad boy right here produces honey. Corresponding bees must be bought in the shop on a pallet. Uh, I think they got the uh, two things there backwards. I don't think you're buying bees in a pallet unless you are. Are you? I don't know. Let's go into animals and find out. Bees right there. Okay. This is our, our uh, honey production right there. Well, it says bees in and honey out. Um, <laughs> hang on. Can we buy bees? Give me a second. You can say buy them in pallets. Am I reading this wrong? Oh, I hope I'm reading this wrong. Too many pallets. Gah. Um, something tells me I'm reading this wrong. So there's probably that. You know, let's just assume I'm reading it wrong. And if I'm not, and you're this far into the video, just be like, DJ, you were wrong. And I'll say you're right. Do you have an electric vehicle, but don't want to pay for it to be refueled? Well, here you go. Use this. This is the free charger. Charger that gives you a free electrical charge. Uh, it's going to cost you eight grand though. for The whole thing's heads up there. Here's a neato one. It's the equestrian arena. So you can place down the entire arena and now you got a fun place to ride around. I don't know if this was from Farming Simulator 19 or maybe this is something from 20. Actually, I know it's not something from 22 because none of the maps have animals on them. So, hey, yeah, uh, this would be pretty sweet though, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is cool. Next up, you got your placeable street light lamps or street lamp lights. I don't know. We got six of them. So you have a kind of like a normal one. You got a uh, kind of like a that one, that one, a triple, all the way around, a quadruple. And that's it. These are really cool because you can use these to actually build out your farm. I think that'd be really cool. Maybe even make it own your own city. Man, I really wish I could do that in the game. There's so many people that are way better than that at me than I am. Next to last new one for all platforms, we've got the national flags. You've got small ones and medium ones of each one. We have Germany, Argentina, uh, Brazil, Canada, France, England, Spain, Italy, and the United States. So there you go, very cool. Fly the, <laughs> fly the flag proud. Yeah. And your last new one for all platforms today is the hunting pulpit. This is a hunting pulpit you can use on your map as a decorative object. You guys have probably seen these around heads up. They will raise the ground up around them. So I uh, just be aware of that. All right, making our way into mod updates for all platforms. The very first one is going to be the Kloss Lexian 8953 version 1.2. Added pipes of smaller diameter, added animations. They've improved particle system, added GPS configuration. They've also optimized the grain tank, added some details, optimized the model, adjusted materials, optimized the details in the cabin. They've added speedometer icons and reworked the lights. Fentvario 900 Gen 6 Gen 7 has also been changed. This is going to be version 1.1. Indicators placed on the correct position, lights set to the correct position, animated the fan, added the power, power plus, profi, and profi plus engines, fixed the visual flaws, added the Fentvario 900 Gen 6, and added the ISO bus function. I think that the 900 gen 6 is the mod that was removed from the mod hub a few days ago but i'm not 100 percent of that how's about an update to that massey ferguson 5600 series version 1.1 the rims have been changed front and rear where front and wheel weights have been changed added the gearbox the design of the dyna dyna 6 power shift added the quickie console the front loader configurations led beacon light been added and fuel consumption been increased the massey 50 or 3700 4700 it's been a long day guys uh this has also been updated to version 1.1 um i don't think they've said oh it's at the top fixed ai problem with the bonnet added new configurations added rim color configs and added tractor color configurations also an update from blue augen modding for the case ih puma tier 4b this is going to be version 1.0.1 minor bugs fix original cnh rims have been added and new details have been added we also have an update to the seed potato farm this is from dazed we talked about this in farm some news a little bit earlier today but it's going to be version 1.0.1 fix the bagged seed potatoes and premium potatoes dynamic 
dynamic mount collision should now be able to pick them up by using the forklift and they do say please be aware that there's a problem with the grimmy rh no longer works inside the building since patch 1.3 you're still able to use it to make potato or box potatoes you can hover them over the sorter intake next to last update for all platforms daisy storage piles for earth fruits and stones version 1.001 they've increased the capacity option of the roof has been added optional lighting has been added switch the box has been added switch the inserted and the information panel has been inserted and your last one this is going to be an update to the use of leftovers version 1.1 they've increased the description version and added the planet silo jumping into the new mods for pc and mac players the first one is the euro milk forge wagons pack it's pack three machines the polish brand euro milk the pack you'll find three feeding wagons of different capacities here they are has nothing to do with milk which is very interesting at least to an english speaking person uh nonetheless here you go three forge wagons we've got one of the 10,000 17,000 and 30,000 you can change up the wheels that might be a little bit too small right there you can change them up and i have the hiccups next up we got you a cultivator for pc and mac players this is the solano cv 29 ph 13 dash well, nothing else. 3.3 tons, 250 horsepower required, 7 meter spread at 9 miles per hour. It's a really nice mod, but man, oh man, that is a hefty power requirement for something this small. And this is what I was talking about earlier in the video where I thought there was a, uh, like a PC Mac only version. Well, here you go. The El Leon, or the, uh, the Lion, I believe is what it's called, uh, 250 bell fork. You got the, uh, Two bells, three bells, four bells. They work with front loaders. Check them out. Next, you've got the limited daily income. Now, this is an interesting one because I'm not really quite sure why anyone would want to use this. But hey, hey, it's all right. This mod allows you to limit the income for all farms to a certain daily limit. What do you expect from this mod? Well, set a daily limit per day and increase in the limit of the farm. Has earned no money at all on a day. A smaller increase of the limit if the farm has earned only a little bit of money in that day, and so far and so forth. Uh, what counts as income, rewards, emissions, etc., etc., etc. Again, I'm not really that interested in a mod like this that really limits you. Um, if you're having a hard time keeping yourself from making too much money, well. Good luck. Here's one that I can recommend though. This is the Snap Build Mod. This mod, Farm Sub 22, enables any building to snap at 30 degrees, 45, 60, or 90 degrees rotational angles and a 0.5 to 5 PX positions when placing it. We've got some really cool stuff through here. Uh, I think you guys should definitely, definitely, definitely give this a try because it's going to make building a whole lot easier. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today, this is going to be the bell storage. You've got for straw, hay, grass, and silage, and bells or loose crop can go in, and bells of all sizes, loose crop, both round and square, will be spawned in front of the barn. There's three versions to choose from, as you can see right here. The barns are in the color changeable and have the built-in lighting as well. If the bell storage is empty, it can be used as a barn or shed just by simply pulling right in there. You're good to go. They do say note wrap bales that are not fully fermented will stay as grass in the storage because they're technically still grass bales. They haven't fully fermented yet. So if you're going to be putting them in as a uh, like partially fertile or um, fermented, well, don't do that. <laughs> You'll just get grass bales back out. They also say manually stacking of unfermented silage bales in the barn uh, is accepted. So this is pretty sweet. Uh, the very first one, and we'll just jump right in and show them to you guys. These are going to be found in silos. You would think maybe sheds, but they are in silos. This is the first one, which is on our far left right now. This version will hold 3,564,000 liters of straw and hay in, in the middle. We've got the one will hold the same amount of straw, hay, and silage bales. And then lastly, the straw, hay, silage, and grass bales. So if you've got just straw and hay, which a lot of people do in their bales, well, you've got that. If you need to add silage or if you want to add grass as well, you can. The capacity stays exactly the same for all of them. This is an epic, absolutely epic set of mods. I've been waiting on something like this for a long time. And finally, finally, they're here. I'm so excited. All right, let's end the day with some updates for PC and Mac players. First one's Headland Management version 2.1. Improved the timing of the individual work steps. Improved the control of potato harvesters and similar vehicles. They've also got the lifting option added for fist 
fist first front implements then rear implements headline automatic control now independent of guidance steering optional automatic return to the field mode after turning on off switch has been added option to temporarily disable the headland automatic by key they've also got revised status display in the vehicle hud vehicle measurement to adapt front and back nodes if implement is being attached or detached enable manual override of triggers saved and restore the configuration locally and the headland management available in mission vehicles did any of that sound <laughs> I don't know what you think about this mod. We got an update to the finished big bags and pallets. This is update version 1.001. Fix the empty particles, affects visibility, and they've added some seed bags. And an update to the fertilizer and lime big bags is gonna be changed off version 1.001. Added some whatever those words are, added the linear lime big bags, new store icons, and increased the mod description version. We also have an update to bell storage. This is going to be version 1.0.2.5. The unload triggers have been modified. And your last mod today, the front loader axle lock remover. This is going to be version 1.1. Specialization has been added twice. Error has been fixed. There you go. Well, guys, that is it for today. And holy crap, that was a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Nonetheless, if you did, drop a like and subscribe. If you're new, join the Go Ham fan. Make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel i am used to talking way too fast in this video i tried to get it done so we didn't sit here for three hours making a video even one minute per mod this would have easily put us over an hour so i tried my best i don't know how long it'll be we'll find out either way i'm gonna shut up now and i'll talk to you guys later